Index compression is another technique that can help you not just to save storage space on your database server, but can also in many cases provide a performance boost to your SQL statements. In a compressed index, what Oracle does is take repeated values at the front of the index key and compress them into a single prefix value. So if you were to look in the leaf blocks of a compressed index, you wouldn't see the repeated value over and over again, but a prefix value that mapped to the repeated value that Oracle could look up when it was needed. How this helps from a performance standpoint is that now the index can take up significantly less space on disk. This means the amount of I.O. needed to read the index is reduced, and usually when we reduce the amount of I.O., we have a corresponding performance improvement. Take for example the index shown on your screen. This would be an index on the course enrollments table that holds a row for each student registered in the course and in fact what section the student is signed up for. If you remember back to college, we might have a section of a course that meets on Monday and Wednesday, another on Tuesday and Thursday, and maybe one section that meets at night every week. And this is what the course offering represents, that section. The second key in this index is the student ID of the student that signed up for the particular course. So if we visualize this data, we know that for the course offering or section, we're going to have many, many students in that same class. Sections for some classes may have 75, 100, or even more students in them. The result in our index, though, is that the first value in the key of our index has many repeated values as shown here. So what we can do in these cases is use index compression in Oracle to not store this value over and over again in the index, but instead have all these entries point to a prefix value that represents this repeated value. To accomplish this, what we want to do is include the compressed keyword in the create index statement with a value of the number of columns from the beginning of the index to be compressed. So in this case, we just want to compress the first column because that is the part of the index key that is repeated over and over, so we have specified a value of 1. As shown here, it is the course offering ID column that Oracle will replace with the prefix value in the index key in order to compress this index. As you might suspect, we can compress more than one column in the index by supplying a different value with the compressed keyword. Here, we show a more generalized create index statement, and in this case, we'll compress the first two columns of the index. Note a couple of items, though, about index compression. First of all, the compression works on repeated values of the combination of columns that you specify, not on repeated values individually in each column. So in this case, the index compression is going to be on the repeated combinations of column 1 and 2. So for index compression to be effective, you have to have enough redundant values in the combination of those two columns. Second, note that the columns to compress are always consecutive from the front of the index. This is because you're replacing that combination, whether it be one or multiple columns with a prefix value. So to do that, you always have to start from the front of the index. As mentioned at the beginning of this section, the primary benefit of index compression is a savings in disk space. This savings can actually be fairly significant, and since disk space on a storage array network or SAN tends to be pretty expensive, you find a lot of DBAs are interested in using index compression where they can. A side effect of this reduced storage space is that since the index takes up fewer blocks on disk, you can read the index faster, and the index will take up less space in Oracle's buffer cache. As we've talked about throughout this course, anytime we can reduce I.O., that's a positive for performance. And in this case, we could be reducing the amount of physical I.O. because the index is smaller on disk. So oftentimes, when you compress an index, you will also see an associated performance improvement. Finally, index compression can be used in both transactional processing databases and in data warehouse environments. In data warehouses, there is a tendency to have more indexes that have these repeated key values in the front of the index. So index compression is a good fit for these scenarios. But the technique of index compression does not apply exclusively to data warehouse databases. It can also apply in a transactional environment as well. On the downside, there are only some indexes that you can apply index compression to, namely these indexes that have a lot of repeated values in the front part of the index key. 
If you have an index with a highly selective first column, then index compression isn't going to work in these cases, and in fact, might even result in a larger index due to the overhead involved in creating the prefix value. Second, you will see a slight increase in CPU usage in using index compression. This is because when Oracle encounters the prefix value in the index, it needs to decode the prefix back into the actual value for the index key. So that takes some CPU. If your system is already CPU bound, index compression is probably not the answer to your problems. But if you do have some CPU available, what you are essentially doing is trading an increase in CPU for a reduction in I.O. Will this be a performance benefit for your situation? Again, that is something that only testing can reveal. So to summarize, if you do have an index that has a large number of repeated values at the front of the index key, consider index compression. A lot of times, indexes on a foreign key column in a table can be a good candidate for index compression because by the very nature of the one-to-many relationship, you have a lot of repeated values in the child table. In any case, what you're going to want to do is try out different key compression links and measure the impact on performance. What you are likely to find, though, while also getting a performance boost at the same time.